everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vanessa and I am a 46 year old mommy of three boys. I live in the south of Morocco and I have been living here for the past 20 years. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the difference between being vegan and being vegetarian. The reason that I wanted to do this video today is because I was invited to a work related event. It was actually a barbecue today. And although most of my colleagues know that I am plant-based, they actually have no idea of what kind of foods I can eat and the ones that I prefer not to eat. They just think that I don't eat meat. A colleague of mine said, don't worry, Vanessa, there'll be plenty of things that you can eat. There'll be vegetable casseroles, rice salad, pasta salad, potato salad. But you guys, in these vegetable casseroles, there's butter, there's cheese. In the pasta and in the rice salad, there's tuna. In the potato salad, there's mayonnaise. So I thought that it would be helpful if I clarified the difference between being vegan and being vegetarian. And I'm also going to take you along with me to today's barbecue that we had. And it was actually to meet our new boss. And I will show you what food choices I made, what I could actually find, and what I decided to put on my plate. I know that in one of my latest videos on the five tips on how to stay on track during the holiday periods, I shared with you that it's just easier if you bring your food along when you go to friend's house. But this was different. This was a work event and I didn't want to seem rude. I didn't want to seem picky. And I also wanted to make a good first impression on my new boss. So I decided to go with the flow. I decided to give myself a little bit of slack and just to let it be and to figure out what I was going to be able to eat once I was there. I didn't want to worry about it. And I certainly didn't want anybody to worry about me or make a fuss of me. Sometimes you just have to be a little bit less rigid in your life. And I know that for me, it's something that is very hard and I definitely need to work on that in 2021. Now let's get into the video. So being vegetarian is more based on food. A vegetarian does not eat any meat. And when I say meat, I mean no steaks, no burgers, no chicken nuggets, no grilled chicken in their salad. But vegetarians do eat animal derived products such as cheese, milk, eggs. They just don't eat the meat in its purest form. Being vegan is more of an ethical choice. It's more a way of life. And it's not only based on what you eat, but also everything that's around you. The first goal of a vegan is to not exploit animals for any given reason. This can be for food, clothing, makeup. Some would even debate whether honey is vegan or not, because it is believed that the bees get hurt during the honey retrieving process. Veganism is when you don't consume any animal or derived animal products of any kind. There's a lot of debate in the vegan world because everybody is so passionate about the animals and they all have such strong feelings about them, which unfortunately can sometimes be a shame because it can cause veganism a bad name. Being vegetarian is more based on food and being vegan is definitely more of a lifestyle and an ethical movement. Then there is plant-based, and that is much more in alignment with my way of eating. Being plant-based is when you eat like a vegan, but you're not so involved in the vegan lifestyle. You're only eating plant-based foods. Veganism denotes something much bigger, and as a strong individual, I don't want to take their ethics lightly and apply them to me because I don't apply all those ethical rules in my lifestyle. So I prefer to call myself plant-based. Okay, so now that we've cleared that up, let me show you what there was today at the barbecue and what I was able to eat. They had prepared some beautiful grilled lobster for all the colleagues. There was a variety of Moroccan olives, green and black, as well as some sauces. Here you can see Moroccan harissa, which is a spicy sauce. They also had some rice salad, but unfortunately it had tuna fish in there and some tomato and onion Moroccan salad as well. And then there was this amazing potato salad, which I was dying to eat, but one of the people that works in the kitchen said that it had mayonnaise in there, so that was it for me. I was so disappointed at that time. And we also had a variety of bread. 
So here you can see my plate. <laughs> I have some olives as well as some tomato salad and some spicy sauce. I also have some vegetables, which I forgot to show you, that were on the buffet, especially made for me. So I had some of those. They were actually grilled. They were really nice. And the typical salt and pepper. And then a miracle happened. My colleague went and got confirmation that there was no mayonnaise in the potato salad. So I had two servings of that and it was absolutely incredible. I had made a vegan chocolate nut cake to bring along and my colleagues really liked that. And I also had an apple and a pear for dessert. Hey you guys, I am jumping on here really quickly because I wanted to show you that this is exactly what happens to me every time I don't eat what I should be eating to fuel my body. Two hours after my meal, I'm starving. So I know that you're not used to seeing me eating snacks a lot on this channel, so I thought it would be a nice idea for me to show you one of the snacks that I love and that's gonna keep me full until dinner. So let me just show you real quick, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna take this apple and take the pit out or the center. I don't know how you guys call it in English. This is so convenient, look, it's amazing. Oops. And then I'm just gonna cut slices. So here I have all of my apple slices. Put them to the side for a second. And I'm gonna make my peanut butter. And I am so lucky because I just received a huge packet from the States from my friend Michael. Michael, if you're watching this video, shout out. Thank you so much. So this is one of the products that I got from my friend Michael. And all of those who are in the States will probably know this. It's powdered peanut butter. But for those who don't, it's just dehydrated peanut butter and it comes like this. And you just have to add a little bit of water to make the desired texture of peanut butter. So this is great if you want to have peanut butter and not have so many calories or for cooking, it's amazing. You can also put it in smoothies. It's really, it's a really, really nice product. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm gonna make a little bit of peanut butter to put on my apples. So the recommended measurements are two tablespoons of peanut butter for one tablespoon of water. Now this is the perfect consistency for what I want. So I'm just gonna take my apple slices and put some peanut butter on them. And I'm feeling really sorry for this little tiny piece that has to be eaten right this second. Oh my God. This is so underrated. But that's not it, you guys. I'm gonna put little tiny pieces of dates on the peanut butter just to make it a little bit sweeter because I'm, I'm having a sweet craving right now. And here is my super simple snack. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope that I was able to clarify a little bit better what being vegetarian and what being vegan is. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Like I said at the beginning of this video, sometimes you just have to go with the flow. I had a great time today. I was able to spend some time with my colleagues. I got to meet and get to know my new boss a little bit better. It was amazing. So I'm not too worried about what was on my plate. So I wish you guys a beautiful day wherever you are and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye everyone.